Yo, what up, what up? It's your boy Ski. I'm back with my crazy world. You know, I, you know, today, you know, it's just gonna be a little conversation. You know, and it's basically a a, a, a straight up conversation speaking on responsibility. You know, I grew up with a family who my mom died when I was only like eight or nine years old. Eight years old actually. And I was left in care of my brothers and sisters. Now, the thing about that was that they were adult in age, but mindset-wise, they wasn't adults. They wanted to party. They wanted to pretty much live their life. They wanted to pretty much do all the things that they wasn't required of them to do when they were younger. And the crazy part about it is they waited until they got of age. You know what I mean? To feel like they need to be doing all of this outrageous partying and stuff when, you know, they, you know, have responsibilities. Not only to myself and my sisters, as they were supposed to be our guardians, it was more or less they had responsibilities to their own children. And the crazy thing about it is that I grew up if if I if 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 the way that I grew up dictated the way that I was supposed to turn out, then I would be one bad brother. You know what I mean? I would be one bad brother. I wouldn't have taken care of my responsibility. I would be living irresponsibly. I would have um pretty much just been one irresponsible dude just living for tomorrow and never thinking about today. But I didn't. And that was because Regardless of my surroundings, regardless of what I was growing up into, regardless of what was shown to me that I was supposed to live like, I made my own choice and I chose my own path and I chose to do the right path rather than live the path of life like my brother and my sisters did whom were supposed to take care of us. And that's the problem I'm seeing today. You see, a lot of people don't understand situations wherein they, you know, what I'm seeing today, the biggest problem that I'm seeing with society today and with this younger generation is their their thought process is backwards. The way that they think is backwards to me. I feel that they put fun first and priority second. And that's becoming a situation, that's a situation where I was just explaining to my wife. You know, I'm at the point in time in my life wherein I'd rather take care of what I have to take care of and be broke than to have a pocket full of money and everything that I needed and supposed to have been done isn't getting done. But today's society and these young folks today don't see it that way. Today's society and these young folks, they they rather go out, party, get high, mess around, sleep around and all of these things of that nature. They rather do that and rather than do what they're supposed to do and to me that's that's just irresponsible and then the crazy thing about it is a lot of the adults want to complain about that but guess what they are mainly contributing to the problem why because they allow them to do it you're not supposed to allow anybody to come into your life space and turn your life excuse me Turn your life space around. You're not supposed to allow someone to come into your life and turn your life into what they want it to be. And that's what a lot of these adult folks are. Instead of putting their foot down, they are contributing to the bad behavior because they won't speak on it. And then the bad part about it is half of these adults won't even have their spouses back on it. And that's what makes it even worse because if you let allow anyone, I don't care who it is, come into your house and divide you and your family. Because that's what it is. When you take a woman to marriage or a man to marriage and you allow anyone to come move into your home and to tear your marriage apart, then you're wrong. You're supposed to instantaneously put that situation in check. 
And I think that's one of the biggest, baddest things that's wrong with society today. We conform to make other people's happy and we sacrifice our own happiness at the expenditures of others. We need to stop doing that. And that's my pledge. My pledge is from now, I'm going to start speaking up. I'm going to start saying what I have to say, whether people like it or not, doing what I have to do, whether people like it or not, and start saying no. My yes button is broken. Because being polite and trying to help others just isn't paying off for me. It's not. And then people are looking at me as if I'm wrong. You see, and that's the thing about it. A person can see all of your faults but can't see their own. And sometimes it takes, you, you just got to grow up. That's all it comes down to. You just got to grow up. I see people putting themselves in situations that they shouldn't have to be in. But because of their lack of discipline, their lack of responsibility, they're putting themselves in it. Then they wonder why everything goes wrong for them in their life. They wonder that. They wonder why so much stuff goes wrong for them in their life. Why they can't get this. Why they can't get this. Why that won't go good. Why this won't go good. It's because of the fact that the things that you're doing isn't coinciding with anything that's good. So can't nothing good penetrate your, your 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 life force real talk I'm not gonna say the younger generation has to change I'm gonna say the older generation has to change we have to stand up for what we believe in we have to stand up for our family members we have to stand up for our homes. we have to start protecting our homes our spouses we have to start being unified instead of divided by people whom we call ourselves to help and then letting them come and tear up our life. Because guess what? Once they tear up your life, they're going to be gone. And you're going to be all by yourself. And you're just going to be living a miserable life. Because the person that you initially was spending your life with was your life partner. And you ended up blowing it behind a person who's irrelevant and who didn't mean you any good anyway. If you look deep inside yourself or deep into the situation, you'll see that people you're helping really don't mean you any good. They don't. They just there to destroy your happy situation because they got an unhappy situation. And this is true. So, if I had any advice to anybody who might be watching my channel, this is what I would tell you. Take responsibility to repair and to keep your household safe from any and everything that's in outside. And that includes, if you're married, then anything... I don't care who it is, family members, friends, they're outsiders. You have to learn how to eliminate the outsiders out of your life so that you can keep the lifestyle that you have, the happy lifestyle that you have. That's my advice to you. Don't change your situation to accommodate others. Change their situation to make them uncomfortable. See, if you start, if you let a person just lay around and do whatever they want to do and speak in the way thing they want to do and say what they want to say in your house, then they're going to keep doing it. But hey, that same person, and when they lay down, you let a fire up under that mattress, I guarantee you they start moving in different directions. And that's what we have to do to initiate change. We have to start being more upfront. We have to start being more aggressive and, and break your yes button stop saying yes to everything because no don't hurt nobody so what somebody's mad at you but if they're not paying your bills keeping your house up feeding you taking care of you then what the heck does it matter if somebody mad at you it don't matter start living for what god gave you and that's you and yours and stop living for all these unnecessary people it's your boy Ski, and I'll be back with another episode. I see all these YouTubers complaining because they're not making all this money. But see, again, they're not taking responsibilities for their controversial things that they're putting on YouTube. And finally, YouTube is growing a pair and handling it. <laughs> Don't be mad. Change. K Ski. Ski in my crazy world, baby. I am O-U-T.